when I was growing up, one of the moments that really shocked me, that really shocked me about what happens in our society, the way people are, the way people are treated, the way that there is a great disparity in our communities uh, about criminal justice outcomes, was Tulia, Texas. Um, it was something that was very much burned into my mind and something that I just could not understand and at that young, at, at, in, in my 20s could not understand how such an enormous injustice, literally hundreds of people were railroaded, were convicted, um, were sent to prison. On the word of one man who uh, lied and lied and lied and lied, and not only, but and lied so much that he was rewarded by the governor. And it, it was such an incredible miscarriage of justice. And, um, you know, it was something that really opened my eyes about sort of the, the weight of these type of undercover investigations and the way they're conducted. And I'm glad uh, Ms. T's carrying um, House Bill uh, 834 because this is the Tulia bill. And what this bill does is it says that if you have an undercover officer who is testifying, that they need some type of corroborating evidence. It doesn't mean that you need another witness, but just like uh, Texas Code of Criminal Procedure 38.414 about accomplice testimony, that you cannot use accomplice testimony alone without some type of other cooperation, the same thing should be true for an undercover officer. That someone who is acting undercover, either a non-police, uh, a non-police witness or a police witness, there should be some other type of cooperation. A picture, a video, a recording, um, something other than just their word alone. Because as we saw in Tulia, that when you rely on just the word alone, there are inherent problems in it. And um, so I, I think that's it. I mean, that's, that's, that's the, the basis of the bill. It's relatively straightforward, and it, it's, it's, not a, it's not a high burden. Really, any other type of cooperating um, evidence is sufficient. Okay, I'm happy to take any questions. This has been a very helpful explanation. Any questions, members? Representative Johnson? And again, this is on drug offenses, right? Uh, no, it's just um, uh, 3814 uh, really is on all type of convictions. It, oh, and I'm sorry, you, you are correct. Under, uh, offenses under um, Chapter 40, uh, uh, 481 of the Health and Safety Code would be drug offenses. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks.